guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today I'll be doing an install on myself and today's hair is provided by Martin Show Hair. Now this is a 22 inch uh, curly wig. Um, all the details to this wig will be listed down below. And as you guys know I've worked with uh, Modern Show Hair a few times before and I always love the quality of their wigs. Especially their curly wigs. So today I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into this video. If you notice down to the right I have the whole unboxing process so you guys can see what the wig looks like fresh out of the box and on the main screen i am just getting ready to prepare myself uh prepare my hairline for the ball cap um i just went ahead and took off my other wig and i just cleaned my hairline with the lace remover and the lace prep and now i'm just spraying back my edges with the trusted may holding spray just to get everything slicked on back and then i will go in with my um stocking cap which is the leg stockings that i get the little pantyhose and I will begin to do my ball cap and get ready to start the installation process on my wig. Now, if you have watched my previous new ball cap uh, video, um, you can you will know that this is a new method that I do with the uh, pantyhose stocking because it's way, way thinner um, than the actual stocking cap and easier to do uh, this method. And But on that video, I did use one layer of glue first and then added my one layer of holding spray. But for today, I'm just going to go on with the holding spray and just um, tack down uh the stocking cap you can do it either way it's up to you it's your preference on um, whichever one you want to do it still gives you great results either way it goes so i'm just going to go in today just with the holding spray only and just quickly uh blow dry my stocking cap on in and then cut off the extra stocking So as I mentioned today, um, this is a 22 inch curly wig. I went ahead and bleached the knots and plucked this wig. And I'm just gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses foundation. And I'm using level 16. I am using the lighter shade in level 16 and just applying that on the front of my um, stocking. And then I'm gonna take that same foundation and add it to the inside of my lace wig. That way it blends with my skin um nice and perfectly so i'm just trying on the wig to see uh show you guys what it's looking like so far and excuse me y'all i had company over and they were distracting me but <laughs> so yeah um i'm just going to take that same foundation and apply that foundation on the inside of my lace and on top of the lace as well before actually installing it and then um, i'm going to go ahead and pull it back and begin to lay down my layers of glue now for today's installment, I did use uh, three layers of my Beautiful Hustle Lace Milk um, adhesive and I'm just taking my spreader and just spreading that glue out nice and evenly so it can dry. And to be honest guys, I kind of was rushing when I did my wig um, today. So um, I did not let it dry all the way, all the way like it should have been, but it still um, ended up turning clear even after I laid it down 
um i was just very impatient like i was just trying to hurry up and get this done but i know i had to record um the install but um so later on when i get ready to lay the wig down you will see just a little bit white towards like the back part but um i just pulled my lace down further down enough for it you know you won't even see it anyway and plus once i blow dried it it was going to turn clear but just always you know if you are in a rush just try to be patient still and just allow the glue to dry clear all the way but as you can see i just had a little bit of white there but i pulled my lace um past it far enough where it was not going to be noticeable anyway and then plus once i blow dried it like i mentioned it would turn clear but um, what I like to do is pull my lace down from the center first and then kind of push it in and then go side by side. And that way, this will hold my wig into place and it will stop it from sliding back. So that way I can um, add whatever, you know, other glue I need to use and everything like that. But I got a really, really tight, firm hold with those three layers before even tacking everything down completely. And I just took my blow dryer on the heat setting and just blow dry everything on in. Um, and now I'm taking my comb and just combing everything on in as well to make sure that everything is just like secure. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin to cut off my extra lace and um, slit some sections so I can raise off the extra lace as well. And then begin to continue to tack down the rest of my lace that is listing. When cutting off the extra lace, you can use scissors or you can use the razor. Um, but I mostly uh, mostly use the razor. But sometimes I have to go in with my scissors and, you know, cut some other little pieces out. But if you do cut with the scissors, make sure you do go in a zigzag motion and not straight across. Because when you go zigzag, you'll get a more natural looking hairline versus going, you know, like straight across and stuff. And even in this section here, like when it came down to like my center part of my hairline, I did have to go in with the scissors and cut back more um, because I felt like if I would have did with a razor, it just would have been not right. So um, where it is now in the center, I'm going to actually go back in and cut some more. But I just like to get the main part off first and then I always go back in if I need to and uh, cut, you know, cut further back on my hairline. So now that all the extra lace is off, I'm going to go in with my uh, rat tail edge brush and I'm going to begin to place that lace mid adhesive under those little pieces that is still lifting and just make sure I get all of that tacked down before I go into uh, spraying down my lace and tying it down with the melt belt.
Sakari. And now before I tie down with the melt belt and spray the holding spray on my hairline, I am going to just quickly blow dry that hairline. Um, just making sure everything is nice and dry. Um, and then, like I mentioned, I will go in with the holding spray and then spray my hairline. But as always, when you do spray the hairline, um, you want to comb everything back so it is nice and neat. So, um, yeah, make sure you do that. That way you get a nice, a nice flat and... Um, smooth looking hairline before you tie it down and for my baby hair today um i did do like little front down baby hair things and just like little light baby hair on the side i did not go baby hair crazy it was just something simple and something cute um everybody has their own baby hair preference some people like them thick some people like them thin some people like them to lay a certain way but i always try to do something a little bit different and the way i did it with this style a lot of people was going crazy like i got so so many likes and so many shares and everybody was just going like crazy for this installation and for my style today it is a no part so i kind of wear it however i want to wear it so i might just wear it all straight back or i might wear it fall into one side or i might flip it over wear it to the other side or even pull it up in a ponytail just you know whichever i feel like doing at that time So after placing the melt belt, I let it dry for 10 minutes and I also blow dried my hairline with the melt belt on as well. And this is the results after pulling off the melt belt. Uh, my lace is super, super melted. I still have my baby hairs downward, but I do want to soften this up. So I'm going to go ahead and comb um, my hairline right on out and I'm going to comb this section where my baby hair is going to be as well just to make sure that everything is nice and soft um for the baby hair I will be using a combination of the motions mousse and also um a little bit of the holding spray as well now I'm just going to go in with my razor and begin to raise it down on um, this front piece because I am doing um the down baby hair in the front and I didn't really get into detail on camera with the baby hair because I really couldn't see. And this is the part that aggravates me the most and just why I just hate doing them. So I ended up going in the bathroom and actually doing my baby hairs. Um, so yeah, I guys can show you guys just a little bit of how I did it here. 
But once I got aggravated enough, I went ahead and went into the bathroom and just did like the rest off camera or whatever like that. So, um, yeah. So I went ahead and just did the other side of my baby hairs off camera as I mentioned because I really couldn't see. So I showed you guys one side on camera and the other side I did off. So now I'm just going to go on with my motion smooth once again and just begin to apply it um, on the hair. And I don't want the hair to be like super, super soaking wet, wet, wet. I just really want the curls to be defined. But I did end up having to go in and, you know, spray my hair some more to really get that hair saturated. Uh, with moisture and really make those curls pop so I'm just going to add mousse and I'm going to add water and everything like that until I get a desired look that I want then I will also go ahead and drop um you know um the finishing look another thing I did do as well and my phone ended up dying towards the end of this tutorial is that I went ahead and um apply more mousse on my hairline and spray my hairline with um the holding spray but i did not like touch up like retouch the baby hairs i just sprayed it on top and just took the motions mousse and patted it on my hairline and then tied it down with the black wrapping paper and i let that dry once again just to make sure that my baby hairs was not going to move and it still had like that soft look so that's why you see here i'm coming back with the wrapping paper off my hairline and as it's, it's dry because as you can see it was kind of hard for me to pull it up and that's because i placed that mousse and that um um holding spray on there but this is pretty much what the hair looks like um i can wear it as a pushback but i'm actually going to just go in with the brush and you know kind of brush it out a little bit so it could be you know more fluffier however so um as i mentioned um I wore it like this for the, the end of the tutorial, but I'm also gonna drop another video after this of what I, you know, what it looked like the next day once I woke up and you know it air dried out and everything like that. So this is before freshly done um, with the curls is wet and everything like that. And this is the next day when I woke up and just left it, you know, in its natural state. But however, um, guys, make sure you guys follow me on TikTok. Um, we have nothing else to do in this quarantine. So I just want you guys to enjoy some of these TikToks that I'm doing. I have a boyfriend. Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm just thinking maybe you can be, you know what I'm saying, you can be somebody for me to know. No, my boyfriend crazy. He kill people. Oh, okay. All right. No, I don't want none of that right now. Yeah. All right. All right. Always got Jamaica Bay. Of course, you know, I don't. I'm always, you know. You gotta be able to be pretty when a nigga like wake up and be like, oh, you, y'all look like this. What's up? Mm. I'm trying to figure out why you so big and your voice so small. I don't like that. What's big? You. Besides my Chanel purse. Your upper body. Huh? Hold on just a second. Huh? Huh? What's big? The upper body. Huh? The upper body. 